The Western Suburbs side come on the field now. Let's look through this team. A strong one. John Dorohy at fullback. Don Mosley, Buddy Kane. Graham O'Grady at 5'8. Tom Rodonicus halfback. Les Boyd is at lock forward. Jeff Foster and uh, Trevor Reardon in the second row. John Donnelly, Shane Day and Bruce Gibbs make up the front. Well, the Manly side now on the field. And let's look through this team. It's uh, Graham Eady, Tom Mooney, Ray Brannigan, Russell Gardner, Stephen Knight. Alan Thompson, John Gibbs, Terry Randall, Ray Higgs, Bruce Walker, John Harvey, John Gray, Ian Thompson. And the coach is Frank Stanton. Their traditional black uniform, Manly in the white uniform, with the stripes, maroon shorts, receiving the ball. Mooney straight away in possession, up to the quarter line. This will be tough. Terry Randall, straight and hard, swinging right arm from John Donnelly and a couple of punches going in. And there's the start of it. Well, there's a little bit going in there and a few of those lads might get walked right from the word go. Yes, well, this is a nasty one. Well... The referee in a hell of a position in a, a melee like that. What's he do? Does he spoil a game of football by walking people who do stupid things early on? Or does he ignore it and maybe it's going to flare up again? The start of it came the way Randall came in, uh, just carrying the ball. Let's see that again. Now here's Randall charging ahead. And there was the swinging right arm. And every picture tells a story. Well, they're psyched up and uh, ready to fire on this all-important match. Dorohy driving that deep. Mooney's underneath it. Takes it very well. He'll bring it back hard and strong. Higgs running from dummy half, makes a gain of about 12 metres. Foster the tackler with Gibbs. Randall, Gray, Ian Thompson, right through! Got a pass away, it's gone to ground. Gitto in possession. Well, the break was great, the pass was bad. And there's a penalty. Oh, and they're coming in on Donnelly now. There was Randall with a little bit of a get square, I think. And it's on again. Well, these are pretty ugly scenes. There's two of them, Knight and Gibbs, had each other in headlocks there, probably to stop the other from going in. Well, I don't know how long the referee can avoid doing something about this. That one started this way. The two tough guys, these fellas. Let's have a look at that from head on. Or from the camera behind the action. Don... Dorothy up there too, the fullback. It was a penalty going to Western Suburbs. Don Lee with a new lease of life under coach Roy Masters, playing very enthusiastically. Rodonigus, O'Grady, that's a bad pass, but Mosley does well to pick it up, and Stephen Knight backslams it. Foster. Get off Get him low. Just tending to bunch up a bit around the ruck on the open side there. Rodonicus, O'Grady, Gibbs, got a pass away nicely to get home. Out to Wayne Smith, he's got some pace, this fella. Gets a pass back inside, it's gone to ground. Oh, Boyd got heavily tackled there by Edie. And he's lost the ball, and Hulk comes up holding his head, and I don't blame him. Stephen Knight. Manly scrumble. Thompson, Mooney, Mooney through. Beautiful pass out to Stephen Knight. Gets a pass back inside the Gartner. Gartner streaming away. Got it under Gibbs. Gibbs is nearly into the clear. Tackled beautifully on the quarter line by Bruce, uh, by Trevor Reid. Hicks out to Brannigan. Brannigan's through one tackle. Gibbs out to Gartner. Up and away he goes, trying to use that pace, but uh, the defence equal to the task on that occasion. Edie on the blind side to Randall. 
Ian Thompson loses the ball. Well, he had a bad game a couple of weeks ago in which the ball was constantly knocked out of his hands. Played very well against Balmain last week. Just tends to try to do too much with the ball sometimes. There's Ian Thompson. Fine tackle. Bruce Walker, that man. West in their quarter. Shane Day being driven backwards by Randall. We've got a pass away well to Foster. Inside to John Dorahy. Nice down to Buddy Kane. Good football by Western Suburbs. Radonikas up the middle. Takes the tackle of Johnny Gibbs. Foster, last tackle coming up now. Wayne Smith. And a good passage of play. Stephen Knight. Straight and hard. Oh, they pick him up and put him down. Great defence. Gray. Walker on the burst. Trying to reef the ball out of his hands. Still on the quarter line. Randall. Gray. Back to Harvey. Ian Thompson. He's had the ball knocked out of his hands again. This is becoming a bit too repetitive for the young fellow. There's a touch judge in. Did you see something, Barry Ross? Yes, uh, yes Redden, and uh, I think it's Terry Randall again. Now, that, there was the uh, incident in which Thompson had the ball knocked from his hands. So now the play went away, as did my eyes, following the play along the line to Donnelly. There's a pen Radonikas, Foster, lobs one, it's gone to ground, over the sideline, no it hasn't gone over the sideline, Gibbs has got it, at 20 seconds to go to half time, Stephen Knight, well there you are, the strength of the little bloke, Tommy Radonikas picked Knight up and uh, drove him in, he's about 16 stone and Tom's about probably 11 stone ringing wet, Alan Thompson with a beautiful break up over the quarter line, a long floating pass out to Mooney, it's been called forward. It's a Rodonicus ball. Bruce Walker heavily backslams Tom Rodonicus. Boyd on the blind side to O'Grady. Inside nicely to Mosley. Mosley fell over backwards then, trying to get past the tackle. O'Grady. Higgs with a round the leg tackle. Mosley, Radonikas, Dorothy, Wayne Smith tripped legitimately by Gartner who comes again and misses him for the second time. That'll be six to go. The referee says Stephen Knight touched it. He was quite right. Trevor Reardon. Shane Day, Bruce Gibbs. Foster, right through. Away to Trevor Reardon. They're only about uh, eight metres away now from the Manly line and looking good. Foster running from dummy half. Bruce Gibbs has a go. Oh, he's going to score an easy one. Well, the Manly defence just folded up and fell right apart there and big Bruce Gibbs used his... West players are defending like Trojans, they really are. Alan Thompson, Ian Thompson, nicely passed to Edie. Edie got a pass away, it's been knocked through, Dorothy has it. He's evaded one, two. Alan Thompson back slams him hard. They're about uh, 12 metres inside West's half. Foster and uh, I think Edie having Edie. a minor altercation there. Oh, blimey. Donnelly was standing the charge of Harvey there in defence. Alan Thompson receiving treatment just 10, 10 metres in the uh, west side of halfway. Gibbs loses the ball. Higgs has it. Loses it. Brannigan has it. It's out to Harvey. Harvey going straight and hard. Got a pass inside. Magnificently pulled in by Edie. Edie's going to go through the tackle and score. Now he's in a touch. Oh, he'll never go closer. In the quarter line now. Ian Thompson, Stephen Knight, straight and hard. 
about 22 metres out. Higgs makes a good little gain of about five metres, or maybe more. Crisscross move, John Gray. Well, then he's passed over very late there. Walker took it all right, Gibbs. Floats a long one out to Gardner. Brannigan. Oh, intercept. Will they get him? Buddy Kane's off. He's up to halfway. Stops, drops, goes backwards. Gets a pass back infield to Wayne Smith. Clever stuff. Wayne Smith. Oh, he's decked him. He's off. Stephen Knight's off. He's been waved from the field, but he hasn't gone yet. Well, here it is again. Stephen Knight looming in from the right. And as he's... Oh, yes, very high and very, very illegal. And Stephen Knight getting a strong round of booing as he goes off. Here it is again. Wayne Smith going cross-field, and that's as bad a one as I've seen. I'm not suggesting for one minute that Knight's a, a player that would uh, deliberately try to maim somebody. He's a clean player, as the West players, uh, West fans would know, because he played for the club. But that was a reflex thing that got right out of hand. Twenty minutes to go. Manly a man short. Had a bit of a barney, a bit of a dust up over there in the crowd, by the looks of things. Natives are really getting restless here today. Graham Eady kicks for touch. Now then, can they score a try? Ray Brannigan goes very close to going right through there. He's only about two metres away. Ray Higgs, no way through that defence. Oh, he's there, Ian Thompson from a great cross pass and it's probably too late but it'll make it uh, an interesting last five minutes or so 13 points to seven going to equal second place Gibbs caught only about a yard from the line Radonikas has come out well on top of this little duel between these two today Gibbs had a quiet day for him Bruce Walker that scrum made, uh, gave West a 12-7 uh, lead in this department, and the penalties are 13 all. Again, uh, Greg Cross, the replacement hooker, making a sprint. He's got Ray Branning and was pulled right out of the way there. It's a penalty. Ten metres inside the Western Suburbs line. And they would have to score twice to get out of this predicament. That's not going to happen. Gardner. Boyd gives him a bit of a, a face lock to uh, improve his looks. Higgs on the burst. Manly have stuck to their guns a man short. Give them credit. But they've been outplayed today. There's a great pass going to uh, Ian Thompson. By G can run to and, and uh, Simon Booth put it down. Manly have come up with the ball, but uh, it'll be a knock on. John Gray. To Edie. Edie caught by the hair there in part of that tackle. The hooter will go fairly shortly. Oh, Hicks, that was a hard one. Liz Boyd will be penalised. The scrum win to Manly, just as we get into the dying stages. Barry Ross, give us the statistics and the scorers. Well, West 13 come from a try from Bruce Gibbs and five goals from seven attempts to John Dorey. Manly seven, Ian Thompson a try, Graham Moody two goals from three attempts, and of course John Gray missed his only attempt. Uh, the, the penalties favour Manly now, 15 to 13, and the scrums are 13 to 7, uh, Shane Day of Westway. Simon Booth getting... Uh, there's the hooter and a good and worthy win to the Western Suburbs Magpies against all the predictions by most of the experts except uh, Roy Masters who was on our controversy corner panel on sports action today. He naturally tipped his side but they've proven us all wrong with a convincing 13 points to 7 win over Manly. Only 
two tries in the match, one for each side, neither of them very spectacular, but uh, a hard,